Whether you're a diehard fan or you're just looking for something fun to do, the inaugural two-day Breaking Bad Fest is happening next weekend. Cast members from the show, costume contest, and so much more will be going on. And here with all the details on the festival is one of the co-organizers, Miguel Jaramillo. Thank you for joining us this morning. So, so tell me just right away, uh, what inspired you to come up with this festival? Well, it was a uh, fellow fan and uh, my co uh, founder, fellow co-founder mm -hmm. Jenny Rexer kind of gave me that idea and said, oh, we should do a Breaking Bad Fan Fest. It was about a year uh, ago and we decided to go ahead and do it because it's something Albuquerque needs and fans need. Um, and uh, you know, we also saw successes like the Big Lebowski Fest and right. that type of thing. We felt it was natural for Albuquerque to have this type of event. So it's been a year in the making. Yes. Tell me about that, that process. Well, it's just been a it's been a learning process because we've never done anything like this, and there's a lot of, of logistics that needs to mm -hmm. happen. Uh, just trying to find cast members to get involved, uh, partners, things like that, those li along those lines. So mm -hmm. it's been fun, uh, but it's been challenging. So it's been a good good process. So tell me, I went to the website. We mm -hmm. saw that cast members are going to be there. Can yes. you give us a hint as to who will be there? Well, we do have our main panel. Uh, so those are going to be uh, Stephen Michael Casada, who played Gomez. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jeremiah Butsui, uh, Skinny Pete, Charles Baker, uh, the two cousins who, and on the show, the Moncada brothers, and Max Arcinego played Crazy Eight. And then we also have some other guests throughout the weekend, like Rodney Rush and some other local celebrities as well. So we're really excited to have everybody on board. So if I were to go out there, what can I expect? Well, on Friday, we're going to have a couple of different events uh, in town. There's going to be a go-karting event. It was inspired by Jesse's scene from, from one of the episodes at okay. ABQ Indoor Karting. And then we're going to have a quiz event at uh, Tractor Brewing in Wells Park. So people can kind of flex their, their, their trivia muscles and the winning team gets to go to uh, the VIP event next day. Okay, how big of a Breaking Bad fan are you? Uh, huge. <laughs> how many times have you seen the episodes? Countless. I, I just, it's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, I, we were just talking to one of our, our cameramen. He's watched it three times now. It's his third time watching it. Yeah. Is that what you're seeing just a lot here in Albuquerque? A lot of Breaking Bad fans just watching it over and over and can't get enough of it, I guess. Absolutely. And also from around the world and around the country, we have some guests uh, visiting from England, one from Australia, one from Netherlands. So. People from all around the world want to come to Albuquerque for Breaking Bad. Okay, so you brought some toys here. Yes. They are toys. <laughs> we have to call them what they are. Um, and one was pretty controversial recently. Toys yes. R Us got a lot of flack from a mom in Florida about it. What are you going to be doing with that toy? Well, uh, we got our Heisenberg action figure and our pink teddy from the show. Um, this is by Mesco, and we're actually going to be doing a giveaway uh, package for the costume contest that we're having on Saturday. So the winner of, uh, uh, of the costume contest gets this gift package with uh, all the, the Breaking Bad goodies. So are you going to go as Walter White? Well, I'll be looking a bit more like Walter White. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, how many, you've mentioned that there are hundreds of people so far that have bought tickets, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, 200, 300, do you know? You know, about 500 right now. Wow, so, that's pretty good. Yeah, so we'd like a total of 10, it's about 1,000, so, you know, I think it's uh, it's a great thing for Albuquerque, something for people to do, and uh, you know, unique experience for Albuquerqueans and people from elsewhere. So. And it's great for the economy. A lot of people do come here; they go to the Breaking Bad tour. Um, so this is just another reason for them to come here to Albuquerque and spend their money, which we'll be more than happy to take. A yes. lot of restaurants <laughs> are going to be smiling about that. Well, people do have Albuquerque on their bucket list now because of the show. You know, people from around the country, around the world. So this is a, an excuse for them to come to Albuquerque to fully have a Breaking Bad experience. So, and What has the response been when it comes to this festival? A lot of excitement. A lot of people really excited to come to Albuquerque for this. Um, you know, some people are making their fourth, fifth time to Albuquerque because this is a, another Breaking Bad experience for them. Do so. you know how far people are coming from, you know, across the world, across yeah, the states? Like, uh, like I said, there's somebody from Australia coming. Uh, from somebody from the UK, from Mexico, from Canada, so f and all across the country, from California to New York, so people are coming from er from everywhere. That's amazing. Okay, really quick because they're wrapping yes. me up. Um, tell me about ticket prices and where they can get them. Well, to participate in the events, it ranges from anywhere from ten dollars to two hundred dollars for the VIP event. Uh, so there's 
there's something for everybody from the go-karting event to the quiz event to the you know VIP party at Casa Esencia so something for everybody so check out our website go apqbreakbadfest.com. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Great you. idea. <laughs> Going to boost our economy here. Of course, we'll have all this information posted on our website. That's krqweek.com. Just click under links. We will be right back.